Hey, welcome or welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, this is a tag that I saw living in Chrysalis do. Uh, she tagged somebody else that she'd seen it from and they tagged somebody else they'd seen it from and they tagged somebody else that it finished from. The earliest taggy I could find was a woman called Stephanie Chambers. However, if it is somebody else who started this tag and you know who they are, please let me know and I'll put it in a pinned comment in the comment section or I'll adjust the description box, one of the two. So... This is the old school tag. And seeing as my hair has gone pretty much 1984 and uh, I'm wearing blue, pink and very 80s uh, eye makeup, it seemed like a appropriate time, or an appropriate time, get your grammar correct Ange, <sighs> to do this tag. And yes, I have Space Invader stickers on the back of my phone, courtesy of my godchildren. Four godchildren, well actually I've got five godchildren now, but four of them are siblings, so I had four Space Invaders, one for each of them. So, first question. Name an old school song, whether it be hip hop, R&B, soul, funk or rock that you listened to when you were younger. Oh, there are so many. Looking back, the ones that I played the most would probably be You gotta fight for your right to party by obviously the Beastie Boys. There wasn't a V-dub in my local area that still had its symbol in the front of its grill. Um... I also listened to actually quite a bit of status quo and Rolling Stones because one of my cousins had bought a CD player so I got all of his old cassettes and there was like you know, the, the Rolling Stones Steel Wheels album and cartload of status quo ones so I used to play a lot of those. Um, in terms of R&B, I used to listen to quite a bit of Stevie Wonder. Um, I can remember being in the church choir and one Christmas we did I Just Called to Say I Love You as one of the songs. Uh, don't ask me why that was in the Christmas carol service, I can't remember. Um, but I do remember vividly singing that song in the choir, in church, with my granddad sitting in his wheelchair in the end of the front pew going, I can hear her, I can hear my girl, she's the only bugger in key, I can hear her. I don't think I was the only bugger in key, but according to him, I was. But then, blind though he was, he would have got me the top brick off the chimney if I'd asked for it. Hmm. Right, uh, rock song. Ooh, there's so many. So many. Guns N' Roses, Bon Jovi, Def Leppard, Iron Maiden, White Snake. Um, yeah, I, I listened to a lot. Um, I sing a lot of Bon Jovi ones now at karaoke, so I'm guessing those are the ones that had the, the greater impact on me. Uh, but I do know Def Leppard's Pour Some Sugar On Me. I played that cassette single so much, it wore the tape out. Two, have you ever attended or thrown a block or house party? Been to loads of house parties, thrown a few house parties in my time. Been to a couple of street parties as well. Once when I was a kid, back in 1977 for the Queen's Silver Jubilee, and I vividly remember wearing a Queen of Hearts dress with, which was a crinoline with hearts all over it, that my mum made me, using clutches from the garden to make the hoops for the skirt. That was fun, trying to do the hokey coke with all the rest of the kids when you could barely reach them because your crinoline was so wide. Um, and I went to a street party for... Was it the Queen's? It might have been the Queen's Golden Jubilee, actually. Went over um, 
where Claire and Gary were living at the time, my best mates, mum of my, well one of my best mates, mum of four of my five godchildren, um, and there was a street party there, I think that was the Queen's Golden Jubilee, so yay! Um, three, have you ever owned a cassette player, a Walkman or record player? Yes to all of the above. Uh, I had a bright yellow Walkman with the over-the-ear round sponge headphones. Uh, I had a boombox. I had a twin cassette deck boombox. Uh, thank you so much. Which was great because I'm uh, probably going to get into trouble for admitting this, but I used to sort of do. I used to buy an album and then copy it and just play the copy because I didn't want to wear the album out. Wearing out that cassette tape of Pour Some Sugar On Me scared me, okay? Oh, I think the first one I did that was with Bad by Michael Jackson. Oh, there you go, there's another sort of solely funky, poppy kind of person that I was listening to. Um, and then I progressed to having um, a hi-fi which had a cassette player on the... a uh, record player on the top then a radio section, then a twin cassette, and a CD player at the bottom. I was so proud of myself when I got that. One of the first things I bought myself when I started work. Four, what was your favourite corner store snack or candy as a child? Probably Pacers. They were square chewy white mints you could buy and they had three green stripes on them and on the advert everybody was wearing white so they were like playing tennis or cricket or something and they'd have a pace set and all of a sudden they'd get these three green stripes down their outfit loved that loved the sweet as well can't get them anymore haven't seen them oof since about 1988 89 i suppose was the last time i saw a packet of those What was your high school mascot? I'm not sure we had one. I know we had a Latin motto, ad astra something or other. I think there was an eagle or some form of bird in the school emblem, but we didn't have like a mascot that we took to sporting events and stuff. But not that I'm aware of anyway. Six, name a show or shows you couldn't go without watching as a child. The A Team. The Dukes of Hazard had such a thing about Bo Duke, John Schneider. Kinda still do, if I'm honest. Knight Rider, fancied the car, not David Hasselhoff. Street Hawk, Airwolf, Grizzly Adams, I used to like watching that. And the Muppets. Which probably explains my driving style to this day. My hubby often tells me I'm driving like a duke when I put my foot down a little bit. <clears throat> I've always wanted a Dixie horn, but... Seven. Have you ever used a payphone? Yes. Many times. <laughs> to the point I even had some of those collectible um, cards. You used to have the BT uh, phone card things. I used to have some of the collectible ones of those. Lord only knows where they've gone to now. Eight. What games or activities did you play with your neighbourhood friends or cousins as a child? <sighs> Knock down ginger. That was knocking somebody's door and running away. Uh, used to kick a football around with my next door neighbour. Because she was just couldn't throw a rugby ball. But granddad taught me how to play rugby when I was a kid. Um, used to bounce a tennis ball up against the wall. Didn't have a bat or a tennis racket or anything, just a tennis ball. We used to bounce it up against the wall and try and bounce it in such a way the other person couldn't catch it. I suppose kind of like our own version of squash. Um, we used to do hopscotch in the playgrounds. Kiss chase, of course, in the playgrounds. Depending on who's doing the chasing, depending on how fast I ran. Off Ground It was another one where 
if you were off ground, so standing on a bench or clinging onto a, a, a pole or something, you couldn't be tagged, but you could only stay there for a count of 30, and then you had to get off and run to somewhere else. You could only be tagged if you were running. That was a fun game. Uh, number nine, who was your childhood best friend? Well, that would have been Kelly. She was my next door neighbour. We used to fall out on a very regular basis, but we also had a little system of knocks because our bedrooms were right next to each other in respective houses. And we used to have a system of knocks so we could actually have a chat of an evening. Because, of course, the only phones were house phones and they were downstairs in the lounge attached to the wall. Didn't have mobiles, couldn't text. Probably could have hung out of our windows and had a chat, but then there was a the risk of getting caught. But we could tap on our walls and have an absolute conversation about all kinds of things, really. <laughs> I wonder if she remembers doing that. <laughs> and number 10, show a throwback picture of yourself. So I will find some old photos of me. If I can find one of me in that crinoline frock from the Queen's Silver Jubilee, I will bung that up, um, and if I can find a picture of me and Kelly, I'll stick that up as well. I know there is one of me and Kelly floating around somewhere of me in my rah-rah skirt. Yes, I had a rah-rah skirt. I think it was my 10th birthday. Funnily enough, the picture was taken in this very kitchen. <laughs> so, there we go. That is the tag, quite a short tag this time, which is good. So, if you haven't already done it, I tag everybody that I have collabed with so far. So that is, I can't do makeup struggles because she's giving up YouTube. So, Nikki, Nikki Raven, Chelsea, uh, Jessica, Marlin, Linda, Anya, Nona, Anne, although our first collab hasn't happened yet, but Anne, I'm still tagging you, and Gold Star Work, I'm tagging you as well, even though we haven't collabed yet. So, there we go, that was the old school tag. I have tagged various people. I challenge you to do the same tag. I will try and remember to copy the questions into the description box. If I forget, someone give me a nudge in the comments and I'll just go back in and edit it afterwards. Right. I have many other films that you could watch now. Please remember to check that you are still subscribed because YouTube are deleting people from my channel, which is highly frustrating, as opposed to Haile Selassie, who was an athlete. Right, enough silliness for one day. All that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.